Okay, what is up there YouTube? Uh, this is J-Man Time and today I have a video on the EM2 rifle and all of its previously existing prototypes. In this video I will go over the history of the EM2 and the history of its various prototypes and the other weapons that were designed during the same time period. Um, as the EM-2 and, and predecessors. The EM-2 was a limited production experimental British bullpup assault rifle project that actually began in 1948. After World War II, the British realized that they could no longer fall behind the United States and the Soviet Union in terms of infantry arms technology. So starting in 1946 actually, the British began a program to replace all of their existing World War II era weapons and one of those weapon projects was the EM-2, also known as the Janssen Rifle. Despite being a British weapon, the EM-2 was actually designed by a Polish refugee living in the UK who went by the surname Stefan Kenneth Janssen, whose real name was Kazimierz Janusz Zawodski. Kazimir or Jansen was a Polish refugee who fled to the UK during the Second World War and during the post-war years. Jansen actually designed a variety of different prototype weapons that were meant to be used by British infantry both during and after World War II. And the EM-2 was the only one of its prototypes to actually be adopted, although it only stayed in service for a few years. As mentioned earlier, the EM-2 was a limited production bull pump assault rifle project that actually began in 1948 and the project ended in 1952. The caliber of this weapon was 7 by 43 millimeters, also known as .280 Enfield, which was an experimental limited production cartridge that was actually designed for three prototype infantry weapons that were to enter service with the British military before the year 1950. 53. The EM-2 was fed by a 20 round magazine and had a rate of fire of between 450 and 600 rounds per minute. It had a maximum effective range of 700 meters or 770 yards. Now despite being chambered in the .280 British or infield cartridge, it was actually chambered in a variety of other cartridges in terms of the many prototypes that were made of the EM-2. The other calibers includes the 7x49mm um, British cartridge, the 7x51mm experimental cartridge, the 7.62x51mm NATO, the .306 Springfield, and the 30 carbine cartridge. And later on, during the later Cold War period, there was also a EM-2 um, successor that was chambered for the 6.25x43mm British cartridge. The EM-2 also used a Polish designed flipper lock system, giving this weapon a unique gas system that most assault rifles did not have at the time, or even submachine guns, for example. The EM-2 was actually designed alongside two other weapons, the Tadden light machine gun, which was a prototype light machine gun chambered for the same .280 cartridge that was meant to replace the existing Bren guns and Vickers machine guns and the BSA 28P assault rifle which was another assault rifle project that was also being fielded during the same time period as the various EM2 prototypes. The EM-2 was actually tested against a variety of other NATO assault rifles and submachine guns that were offered to the British at the time, and actually came out on top. In 1951, the EM-2 was actually adopted by the British Armed Forces, but unfortunately, less than three years later, which Britain was a part of, would later adopt the 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO cartridge prototype battle rifles being produced at the time, for example, the American M14, the Belgian FNFAL, and the West German Gewehr 3 or G3 battle rifles. As a result, the British ordered a halt to the manufacturing of EM2 rifles and actually asked for a upgraded version of the EM-2 rifle chambered in the 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO. This prototype didn't do so well. The round was simply too overpowered for the bullpup EM-2 
prototype, and ultimately the British were forced to abandon the EM2 project as a whole by 1954. Later on, the British would adopt the Belgian FNFAL system as their standard issued infantry rifle throughout most of the Cold War. But many British firearms historians would tell you that the EM2 was actually the better weapon. At one point during the Cold War, the British actually had a better infantry rifle than both their American, French, Belgian, and West German counterparts. Now, the EM2 was not the only version of this weapon. In fact, the EM2 prototype, the EM2 rifle was actually an evolution of several other infantry rifles that had been designed so let's go over some of the prototype infantry weapons that actually preceded the EM-2 rifle. The first weapon was known as the EM-4, also known as the Burney rifle, designed by Dennis Burney in 1944. And this was an experimental bullpup assault rifle that was actually designed for the British forces towards the very end of World War II. This weapon was chambered in an experimental cartridge known as the 7mm burning cartridge. Now, despite being called the EM4, it was actually not the fourth rifle in this series. In fact, the EM designation was given to a variety of World War II era prototype rifles, prototype rifles, machine guns, and recoilless rifles. But the EM4 Bernie rifle was the first of the bullpup prototype rifles that would later go on to influence the EM2. The next one, the next weapon that influenced the EM2 was the EM1 Corsac, also known as the Corsac EM1. And this was an experimental bullpup fully automatic rifle slash light machine gun designed by another Polish arms designer known as Roman Corsic in between 1945 and 1946. This weapon was chambered for the German 7.92 by 57 millimeter Mauser and was fitted with a 20 round box magazine. And this weapon was also tested during the same time period that the EM2 prototype was actually under construction. Now this weapon was also rejected, but it is also one of the rare light machine gun prototypes designed for the British forces just after World War II, and was one of the weapons that would go on to influence the EM2. Then, next came the first prototypes designed by Captain Stefan Jansen, known as the EM-1 Cobra, later renamed the Enfield EM-1 Tropy. Now, both of these were pretty much the same weapon. The only difference is the second variation of the EM-1, known as the Tropy, is fitted with a rail scope, a rail sight, and a, which also doubles as a carrying handle. And this prototype was unveiled in 1948 and is the first version of the EM-2 rifle and is the prototype of the EM-2 rifle and is the first to be chambered in the .280 infield cartridge. Later on in 1949, Stefan Johnson or Jansen came out with the final version or the second to last version of the EM-2 also known as the EM-2 Mamba which will become the basis for the standard production for the standard production version of the EM-2 also known as the Jansen and this version was the one selected by the British Army for testing and was later temporarily adopted in 1951 as the EM-2 Genesis rifle, Jansen rifle. Later on in 1950, 1951, a, the final production version of the EM-2 was unveiled known as the Mini Mamba. And this was actually a bullpup assault rifle carbine chambered for the same cartridge. It was basically the same EM-2, but with a shorter barrel. This version was a more compact version of the EM-2 weapon and from my opinion would have been the better version overall. The EM-2 was a good weapon but carbine weapons were becoming the standard by the, by the late 50s and early 60s. For example, during the Vietnam War, the Americans would later adopt the CAR-15 which would later evolve into the M4 carbine later on during the, during the later Cold War era. So the British had actually come up with the idea for a carbine assault rifle as early as 1950-1951. 
way before the Americans did and way before the other NATO members did themselves. And that's basically it for the EM-2 rifle, at least in the standard version. But later on in 1972, the EM-2 project was temporarily revived as another experimental rifle known as the L-64-L-67. And these were actually two prototype infantry bullpup assault rifles that were tested between 1972 and 1978, chambered in a new experimental cartridge, the 4.85 by 49 millimeter cartridge, which was an even smaller cartridge, even smaller than the standard 280 British cartridge. The L64-L65 experimental assault rifles were chambered for this cartridge. The L64-L65 used a new gas system actually inherited from the American AR-18 and used a new type of sight known as the SUSET. This weapon was meant to replace all of the existing FNFAL rifles being used by the British at the time. This weapon also had a 20 round magazine and its rate of fire is largely unknown but it was much higher than the EM-2. Ultimately, the L64-L65 project also came to an end and the British would later go on to adopt another bold pup assault rifle in the form of the SA-80 which would become the standard family of bull pump assault rifles used by the British military from the late 80s and to the present actually. So that was basically the history of the EM-2 rifle and all of the rifles that came before it that actually influenced the EM-2's ultimate design. So what do you all think of the EM-2 rifle? Which of the prototypes were your favorite? And please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.